so yesterday we had the bonus video about where I would personally rank the sunflowers. This time we're going to read, not sunflowers, the plants. Now we're going to read the almanac descriptions, and I'm going to kind of throw in my two cents of like how annoying they are. So let's start with basic zombie. Basic zombie is not that bad. It's not very strong. Zombie, uh, the zombie loves brains. Can't get enough. Brains, 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 brains day in and night out. Oh, old and stinky brains, rotten brains. Brains clearly past their prime. Doesn't matter. Regular zombies want them. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. They ain't that bad. Uh, they're just kind of common. Flag zombies with my weird, uh, weird owl zombie. Uh, flag zombie marks the arrival of a huge pile or wave. So, basically, they're a common zombie, but they're normally, like, what you see. Make no mistake, Flag Zombie loves brains, but somewhere down the line, he also picked up a fascination with flags. Maybe it's because the flags always have brains on them? Hard to say. Well, yeah, well, they ain't that bad. Uh, Conehead Zombies. His traffic cone headpiece makes him twice as tough as normal zombies, so they're a little bit more annoying, but not too bad. Conehead Zombie shuffled mindlessly forward like every other zombie, but... Something makes him stop. Maybe him uh, made him pick up a traffic cone and stick it on his head. Oh yeah, he likes to party. Yeah, so he ain't that bad, especially if he gets um, well. Like once he gets a little bit too close to your plants and he still has the cone, no matter what damage level it's on, it's gonna be a little tricky to kill. Let's got squash. Pole vaulting zombie. Pole vault. Uh, pole vaulting zombies vaults with the pole. Uh, toughness, medium, but he also has speed, which is fast than normal. Jumps the first plant he runs into. That's what makes him so special. Uh, uh, some zombies take it for, uh, further, aspire more, push, push themselves beyond the normal into greatness. This, that's pole zo uh, vaulting zombie right there. That's, that is so him. Yeah, he ain't that annoying. Sometimes he can be during the early levels, but after that. Yeah. Buckethead zombie. His bucket has makes him extremely resistant to being sure he has a pretty high toughness level he has a weakness to magnet shrooms buckethead always wore a bucket part of it was to assert his uniqueness in a uncaring world mostly he just forgot it was there in the first place yeah he's pretty annoying i would say he's always in the beginning of the survival night hard levels so yeah or survival hard levels newspaper zombie is newspaper uh just a limited respect uh, defense low. He can go fast after losing a newspaper. Newspaper zombie was this close to finishing his Sudoku puzzle. No wonder he's freaking out. Yeah, he's also pretty annoying, but if you have, like, something to freeze zombies, he's normally not that bad. <laughs> he's fine, normally. Screen door zombie. Uh, low, toughness high, fuse shroom, and magnet shroom. He's also, uh, catapult because they go over and hit him on the head. He got a screen door from the last, uh, an expertly defended home he visited after he ate the homeowner's brains. He just rips off the door. He ain't that bad either. But now we get into the most annoying zombies. Uh, football zombie. Football makes his uh, makes the play. He has a helmet. Very fast. Uh, very, t very tough. He's weak against magnet shrooms because that helmet takes a lot to kill. I would say even takes more than a cone head. Or even, I would say, like, on the same level of Buckethead. Football Zombie gives 110% whenever he is on the field. He's a team player who delivers both offensively and defensively. Defensively. He doesn't even know what a football is. Oh, uh, Dancing Zombies and Backup Dancers. Uh, he's annoying because he just sums them up. Uh, summons them. Dancing uh, Zombies lays out them. Our brains are all. Is already rocking up on the undead chart. Backup Dancer, uh, basically just a uh, normal zombie. Backup Dancer spent six years perfecting his art at the Chirurg Performing Art School in Zombie, New York. Duck 2 Zombie, there, there ain't really much different from normal zombie because he could be their normal zombie or whatever. Only appears in the pool. Uh, he loves to float in the water. It takes a certain kind of zombie to be a duck tuber. Not every uh, zombie can handle it. Some crack, they can't take it. They walk away and give up on brains forever. Not him, apparently. Snorkel zombies. Snorkel zombies are also a little annoying, and I'll tell you why here in a second. Snorkel zombies can swim underwater. 
They're not very strong. They submerge to avoid attacks. Only appears in the pool. Zombies don't breathe. They don't need air. So why does snorkel zombie need a snorkel to swim underwater? Answer, peer pressure. Yeah, he's basically annoying because sometimes there's like a horde of zombies. You won't see him. He'll be underwater. So you'll be screwed. Oh, uh, Zomboni! Zombonies are annoying. Toughness high. Crushes parts of planes leaving ice rails. Not to be mistaken for a, a, a Zomboni. A Zamboni. Brand new ice cream machine Zamboni. And the image of the ice resurfacing machines are registered trademark of Frank J. Zombie and Co. And Zomboni is used with permissions for all your non-zombie related ice uh, resurfacing visit needs visit www.zamboni.com well ain't that nice he's annoying because he runs over everything uh, spike weed does enough for him it'll pop his tires and he'll flip over but when you don't have them you'll wish you did zom bobsled team these zombies appear in a team of four they're low for each zombie but when they're all together they're strong only appears on ice zombie uh, bobsled team works hard to get where they are, they live together, eat brains together, and train together to become a cohesive zombie unit. Dolphin Rider! I'm not even going to read what he says. He's annoying. The dolphin's also a zombie. Okay, well, that's it. He is fast because of the dolphin, and he does a lot of freaking damage. Like, when he's eating. Pretty tough. Jack in the Box Zombie. The zombie shivers not because he's cold, but because he's crazy. Jacket, uh, Jack in the Box explodes, magnet shrooms, fast, medium. Yeah. Balloon zombies flow in the air. Balloon zombie really lucked out. The balloon thing really works and none of the other zombies picked up on it. Yeah, he flies. He doesn't take a lot of damage. Uh, cactus and blowers deal with it. Also, cactus sticks, too. Digger zombies. The d zombie digs up. And then... Yeah, basically the digging zombie, he digs, digger zombie, spends three days a week getting his executive, I mean, executive permit in order. So he tunnels underground and appears on the left side of the lawn. Anything could really kill this guy, but the best way I found it was the gloom shrimps. Okay, pogo zombies. Pogo zombies are annoying as well. Oh, also magnet shrimps helped me a lot with them. Pogo zombies hops to bypass your defense. Medium, hops over plants, magnet shrooms. Sproing, sproing, sproing. That's the sound of a powerful and effective zombie doing what he does best. Pogoing. He's also annoying, but nothing like too out of the ordinary. Bungie's... Oh, wait. Okay, so Yeti Zombie. Yeti Zombie doesn't do anything uh, unusual other than on the one level he appears in, he walks out. And then if it gets too hairy, he'll start backing up. Bungie Zombie attacks from above, medium to describe, uh, he sends from the plant and steals, uh, from the plant and, the, and steals the sky. Yeah, sure. Okay. Bungie Zombie likes to take risk. After all, that's the point of being dead if you don't have a lot, uh, if you don't live a little. Yeah, exactly. It is funny, though, that these guys are probably one of the ones that annoy me the most, because you always have to plant down the, uh, umbrella leaf. Ladder Zombies, as a name and Rise. He climbs over plants like tall nuts. Fume shrooms and magnet shrooms are his weakness, but another weakness, spike weed. And death. And catapult. Uh, catapult zombie, speaking of which. Oh, wait, uh, I didn't read. He picked the ladder up for $8.99. He went to the hardware store. Sorry. Catapult zombie. Uh, catapult zombie operates heavy machinery. He is tough. Uh, he is medium, uh, lobs baskets at your plants. I would think he's tough, but whatever. Of all the things catapult zombies could launch with the catapult, basketball seems like the best choice and most obvious, uh, like the best and most obvious choice. Hopefully he can hit a home, a hole in room one, I guess. I, I'm joking around, by the way. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough, I, I don't really have anything to say. He's kind of like Zomboni in the way, except he throws stuff and umbrella leaf deflects it. Guard Ganchuar, he's extremely high. And health in the health department. When Gargantuar walks, the earth trembles. When he moans, other zombies fall silent. He's the zombies other zombie dream they could be, but he still can't find a girlfriend. He is a giant zombie. He takes a lot of damage. Like, I think he has a hundred or something? I don't know. Imps are tiny zombies hurled by 
Gargantua is deep into your defense. Low imps may be small, but he's weary. He's proficient in zombie judo, zombie karate, and zombie bare knuckle brawling. He also plays the melodica, the melod harmonica. I don't know what you play. These are the most annoying ones because in I Zombie they suck, and in the main game they suck. Zomboss. He is tough and extreme. He's a zombie that rules them all. Edgar George Zomboss achieved his doctorate in Tantology in only two years. Quickly mastering Tantology technology, he built his fearsome zombie bo uh, Zombot and set out an absolute, uh, whatever, you know, a physical subdivision. There ain't much else I can say about those guys that you need to really know about other than whatever, right? But yeah, that's it for Plants vs. Zombies, guys. Thank you all for watching, and tune in tomorrow for the last full Plants vs. Zombies video. See you guys then.